Hello friends, uh, I am Rahul. Today I gonna show you how to configure the DHCP server and the DNS server in Cisco Packet Tracer. Okay, so let's start the configuration. <coughs> I just uh, click Cisco Packet Tracer and it open the screen. Okay, it's and I just uh, click here guest login then minimize it and take some seconds and click the confirm next okay so today configuration is that how to configure the DNS server and the DHCP server in the Cisco Packet Tracer. Okay, so let's start and do follow my steps. I just choose uh, PT router here and drag and I click the switch and I choose the 2960 switch and uh, need some uh, in device you just click here you just see here in the in this this is the in device okay and click and you choose the laptop species this is your choice i choose the laptop click and drag click and drag click and drag okay and uh, i choose the server that is the uh, one server for the DSCP and uh, that is the one server for the DNS okay and connect the connect to the all device okay and you choose you click the connection and you just click uh, auto connected ports okay topology is ready and I configure this server this is the DNS okay this is the DNS server and this server is the DHC so <coughs> I start the configuration router go to the CLI and type the no uh, that is that is the router execution mode go to the privilege mode that's why that's why I type the and this is the privilege mode and I go to I want to go uh, global mode so I type the configure terminal that router global mode and I configured the first Ethernet 0 slash 0 okay I type here interface first Ethernet 0 and IP address uh, 192.168.1.1 and type no shutdown okay and I mentioned the IP here okay and I just mentioned the IP here and I mentioned the IP 192.168.1.1 okay and I configured the DSCB server so I click the server and go to the desktop mode and go to IP configuration and type the IP. Oh, 
mention the server IP and marks 250.250.250.0 and default gateway and default gateway is 192.168. The server IP is here. 168.1.3. Okay. I mentioned the IP address, mentioned the subnet marks, mentioned the default gateway, mentioned the DNS server, and I go to the service and the, here is the, the DSCP. Click the DSCP and on the service and here is default gateway and type here is the gateway 192.168.1.1 and dns server is 192.168.1.3 okay and start ip address start ip address i mentioned the ip here 1.2 and dns ip here 1.3 that's why we'll start the ip and maximum ip address 255.255.255.2 okay and tftp server I not mention here and WLS address not mention here so it is the dot zero dot zero dot zero and it is the zero dot zero dot zero dot zero okay and uh, save it is just here that is the server pool is the default gateway DNS server start IP address and subnet box max user 252 uh, because uh, three IP have one is uh, gateway Two is DSCP server IP and DNS is the 1.3 so max user is 252 and TFTP server I not use here that's why it is that 0, .0, .0. WLC address that 0, .0, .0. okay uh, config complete the configuration okay so I check the DSCP configuration go to PC and type the desktop click the desktop mode and ip configuration click the dscp okay here you see 1.4 it is that 1.1 and dns server 1.3 dscp request is successful okay okay see here here is the dscp request the successful okay okay here is the dsp request the successful okay i just uh, click the pc and command prompt ping the dsp server ping 192.168.1.2 i found dsp server okay that's why my connection is all right okay and that's and next i configure the dns server okay so uh, okay and i mention is ip here 192.168. and here is 192.168.1.3 and i click the dns server and go to the desktop and go to the configuration and here is the IP address 192.168.1.3 and subnet box so uh, here is that <coughs> default gateway 192.168.1.1 and DNS sub IP 192.168.1.3 and uh, IP address mentioned here, subnet mark mentioned here, default gateway mentioned here, DNS server mentioned here. Okay, and I go to the service and come to option of come to DNS and click name here, which I which website you open here. So I type made make the one website www dot as a www.bing.com okay and type the IP address 
0.168.1.3 and add click the here and save okay and you just you just open the you just open the opera and type here www dot dot com and here click the left click the sorry click the right button of mouse and you click here the page source okay and you all the page source you copy here all select control a and control c okay. and click the dns server and go to the http oh sorry i forgot that service is off now here the index html to go to edit and uh, you just uh, you just take here and our dns server is working or not go to the web browser pc mode and type here .168.1.3 yes here is the default cisco packet tracer website but we make the here the bing as a microsoft website is search engine bing okay and i click here and it is the total click and control v and save okay and already right to this yes okay i complete the complete configuration the dns server and cross and go to pcs and click here 198.168.1.3 and click the go you see here bing is in your dns configuration is all good okay so configuration is right okay and you just check these pieces all the bases http web browser and type that is the open pink search engine okay you just want to browse that and type the web browser and click Here is the open the Bing websites. Okay, my can <coughs> and you you go to the PC and uh, ping the DNS server ping one ninety two dot one six eight dot one dot three and the reply from the DNS server. So its configuration all right okay all the configuration is right okay thank you for the watching <laughs>